Hello YouTube, Spencer with GoldArrow.com. One of my many hats I wear is a technical counselor for the EAA and power plants and composites. In today's video, you're seeing a weed whacker, so what's this have to do with aviation? Well, some of you flying maybe powered parachutes, ultralights, or even home built, uh, maybe even certified planes, you might be um, using normal pump gas uh, from the gas station, and most of it is subsidized with usually 10% ethanol and ethanol will destroy um, various kinds of plastics and rubbers so I just did a rebuild on the Swede Whacker and this is showing these lines with only a couple of years of exposure to ethanol let's see if I can find one of these orange ones but you can see it just splits wide open it splits right like that so you can imagine this in your aircraft this, this uh, particular weed whacker did not have too much runtime on it, but it did have years of exposure to the fuel. It's a four cycle uh, weed whacker, so you're not seeing anything due to like an oil fuel mix. But just kind of uh, a big wake up to the aviation community here. Um, looking at all these little bits and pieces that came out. Even the fuel bulb right here, which primes it, that's all shattered. So um, if you have run like pump gas from before and not just the normal pure 100 low lead that doesn't have any ethanol in it. Um, you should probably go, if you have any fuel lines like this or plastic components, rubber components, you should check them and uh, you know look for the color difference because this used to be kind of a yellow color like that and you can see now it's all frosted over, splits open easily. So it's one thing to have your engine quit but another thing to have that split open like in your fuselage and dump a bunch of gas in it. So, something to watch out for, and hopefully this will, will help you if you see it. Uh, of course, if you do, of course, you're going to want to replace your lines and um, really read through the specs because uh, some of the stuff, like especially with aviation mil spec hardware, it might be rated for 100 low lead and it's been proven for forever. But uh, with the pump gas, got to make sure there's enough data behind it with your various fuel system components that it. It is rated for it. It'll work. Um, the tank is a number two high density polyethylene, and it's been fine. So it's it, it's a plastic, and it holds up to ethanol. But some of these various plastic tubings, which I have seen in quite a few, like ELSA, LSA planes, some home built ultralights, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it shows you shows you what ethanol will do to you right there. So hopefully this will help the aviation community. And um, one of those definitely huge safety of flight things to look for on your next pre-flight if, if you have any kind of history of running pump gas in your aircraft. 